Hey there! In this video, we're going to explore logistic regression, a fundamental algorithm used for classification problems in machine learning. Let's start by defining the problem. Suppose we want to predict whether a student passes an exam based on how many hours they studied. This is a classification task because the outcome is binary. Either they pass, which we we'll label as 1, or they fail, labeled as 0. If we plot this data with hours studied on the x-axis and the outcome on the y-axis, we see two distinct groups. Fails are on the bottom at 0 and passes are on the top at 1. Now, you might think, why not just fit a straight line through this data? This is what linear regression does. But there's a problem. A straight line continues forever in both directions. For a student who studies a lot, the line might predict a value of 2 or 3. What does a probability of 200% mean? Even worse, for 0 hours, it might predict a negative value. We need a function that bounds our output between 0 and 1, representing a valid probability. Enter the sigmoid function. This S-shaped curve takes any input, no matter how large or small, and squashes it into the range between 0 and 1. The formula involves Euler's number, e, when the input is 0, the output is exactly 0 0.5. As the input gets huge, the output approaches 1. As it gets very negative, it approaches 0. In logistic regression, we take our linear predictor, that straight line from before, and wrap it inside this sigmoid function. The result is a smooth curve that transitions from 0 to 1. This allows us to interpret the output as the probability that a student passes the exam. But this curve isn't static, it's flexible. Just like a straight line has a slope and an intercept, our logistic model has parameters we can tune. Changing the bias shifts the entire curve left or right, effectively changing the threshold required to pass. Changing the weight alters the steepness determining whether the transition from failure to success is a gradual uncertainty or a sharp sudden jump. So, how does the algorithm actually learn the best curve? We don't use the same least squares method from linear regression. Instead, we use something called maximum likelihood. The goal is simple. Find a curve that assigns a high probability to the students who actually passed and a low probability to those who failed. The algorithm iteratively adjusts the position and steepness until it locks onto the curve that best explains the data we observed. Real-world problems often involve more than just one factor. Suppose we predict results based on two features, like hours studied and classes attended. Our data now lives on a 2D plane. Interestingly, if we cut through the point where the probability is exactly 50%, we get a straight line. This is called the decision boundary. Even though the probability function is curved, the line that separates the pass region from the fail region is linear. To summarize, logistic regression is a powerful tool for classification. It uses the sigmoid function to output probabilities between 0 and 1, learns by maximizing likelihood and separates data using a linear decision boundary. It's a simple concept, but it forms the foundation for many complex machine learning systems. And that basically wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this explanation helpful, give it a thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe to stay up to date with everything I post on this channel. See you in the next one. Bye bye!